Criminal theft charges are pending against a Pennsylvania man after he's accused of stealing money that was raised during a charity event in Fargo. North Dakota Attorney General Wayne Stengem has ordered a cease and desist against a Thomas Burke. In 2016, Burke organized officers down 5K races in Fargo and Bismarck to raise funds for local law enforcement. It turns out he was pocketing the money and leaving beneficiaries with unpaid bills. The 2016 Fargo event was advertised as a benefit for the officer Jason Mosier Family Benefit Fund. A special golden treat for local youth girls hockey players in Fargo. Grand Forks natives and Olympic gold medalists Monique and Jocelyn Lamaru spent time with the girls at Shields Arena before tonight's Fargo Force game. The twins had met a gold medalist when they were in second grade and wanted to pay it forward to the next generation of players. It's crazy because like we all look up to them since they uh, like are from uh, where we are and they started from like just a normal team in Grand Forks and then they got to win like two silver medals and a gold medal in the Olympics. It's like they're just a big inspiration because you know they're in the Olympics and they're from North Dakota and we're from North Dakota. Earlier today, the Lamaru twins spent time hanging out with patients at Sanford Children's Hospital. Later on Valley News Live at 10, there's some speculation that the keynote speaker for the North Dakota Republican Convention is the president himself. We'll tell you why in just a little bit. We have heavy bands of snow pushing into southeast North Dakota, also some meandering toward the Twin Cities area as we head to bed tonight. The gustiest of the wind and the heaviest of the snowfall is yet to make its way through. We'll have hour-by-hour -hour details right after this.